So, okay, uh, first of all, uh, I'm very uh, glad to uh, join this uh, virtual conference. So uh, today I will talk about the uh, full stable trace formula for the metaplastic group SPTO.2N. So in my talk, uh, SPTO always means the metaplastic group. So uh, it's about the other Silberg trace formula and uh, also about the endoscopy in the classical sense. So since the uh, other Silberg trace formula is a sp special case of relative trace formula and uh, Endoscopy is the basis of endo of beyond endoscopy, so I, I hope this is well uh, is the topic of this conference. So uh, this slides, uh, okay, so um, so this is a work in progress, and uh, these slides are prepared for a colloquial talk, so there will be some uh, very elementary things so, and uh, inside. I will go quickly through this. So this is a work in progress. So in fact, it is, it is in progress since my thesis almost 10 years ago. I hope uh, I, it will be completed soon. So it's essentially done, but I have to make some corrections in this work. So let's move to the content. So, uh, well, this is an uh, incomplete list of works that will be mentioned in my talk. So I'm very happy that most of the authors are in the participants. Or maybe all, all, the, all these authors are actually participants of this conference. Maybe. So, okay, so. Let me start with the basic notion of automorphic representations. So uh, these are just some generalizations or interpretations of theory of modular forms. So in my talk, uh, I will fix a number field F and uh, let A be the ring of Adels. And uh, in the first part, in the first part of my talk, let's forget about coverings. So G is a connected reductive group of uh, F. So we want to study the AO2 automorphic spectrum like this. And uh, we don't consider function field in my talk. So study of automorphic representations is, is essentially about the decomposition of this AO2 automorphic spectrum and the regular representation. And uh, the main conjecture in this theory, in this uh, area is Arthur's conjecture. So it predicts a uh, decomposition index by so-called Arthur parameters. So uh, I will not mention um, Arthur parameters in my talk, but it will serve as an uh, important motivation of uh, all of my constructions. Okay. So I guess. Uh, Many of you are famili already familiar about this. So the trace formula is, um, the idea of trace formula is to study the AO2 spectrum through an equality of distributions on GA. So it is a generalization of Poisson summation formula in a future analysis. So uh, what is the this formula, so it has two sides, the geometric side and the spectral side. So in the spectral side, uh, the main terms are some of characters of automorphic representations. And uh, the geometric side, on the geometric side, the main terms are sums of orbital integrals like this, but weighted by some uh, Tamagawa numbers. So um, here, we only write down the case of elliptic regular semi-simple terms. And in my talk, uh, G gamma will always be the connected centralizer of uh, gamma. Okay. So for example, uh, if we are successful in a comparison of geometric size for different group G, then we will get some cases of functionality conjecture. This is how people uh, use, usually uh, make use of the trace formula. 
So, uh, okay, so it's actually more complicated than what I just, I just wrote down. So in general, uh, the automorphic quotient is not compact. So it's amounts to existence of proper V or equivalent to the continuous spectrum in L2. So uh, also is trace formula, which looks like this. There are terms uh, indexed by some uh, Levy subgroups over some minimal web. And here are some uh, combinatorial factors here. And then there is some, uh, some distribution. It depends on G, but also on M. Here, I is one of the geometric or spectral distributions. And uh, in fact, uh, each is uh, IGN, are, they are just invariant distributions. And uh, they also have extensions indexed by conjugacy classes or uh, reducible representations for M. And uh, uh, this is, I think this is quite complicated formula. So the actual, uh, the, the precise description of these distributions uh, involves some truncation and uh, many other tools for harmonic analysis. So usually uh, people only talk about the case G equals M, but in my talk, what matters are the other terms, the more complicated ones. So usually uh, this is some kind of black box, but uh, in order to use this black box, you have to uh, somehow deal with all the, terms, all the terms in this formula, not just the main terms. Okay, so uh, here are some of the basic objects in this formula. Let's, so let's fix the Levy subgroup M, and uh, there are some local terms in the in these uh, distributions and their extensions. So in the geometric side, the local terms are some invariant version of weighted orbital integrals. And uh, on the spectral side, they, they are some also they are also some invariant version of weighted characters. And, uh, I will not define these weighted guys, but it's, maybe it suffices to uh, know that when G equals M, we recover the familiar orbital integrals and the characters. And there are also some terms of global nature. They, they are the coefficients in the, exp in the expansion of these uh, distributions in terms of local uh, the local distributions above. The coefficients are natural and uh, the distributions are local. We will return to this distinction later on. So ultimately, uh, what we want to understand are uh, the spectral side, more precisely the maintenance in the spectral side. So there is no M anymore. These are terms indexed by G. So IG is just the term uh, indexed by um, these are just the spectral side of the trace formula. IG discrete is the discrete part. And uh, in the discrete part, you can furthermore isolate the terms according to infinitesimal characters at the Archimedean place and also the Sapake parameters outside some uh, large finite set of places. So, what is the discrete thing? It is the choice of the L2 discrete spectrum plus some shadows from the V. So these shadows are not in the automorphic spectrum, but they play a very important role in Arthur's conjecture. In fact, uh, they enter the local and the global intertwining relations. All these intertwining relations, you can view them as something about the structure of parabolic inductions. So these are some uh, highly uh, important stuff in Arthur's theory. And uh, we want to understand this uh, discrete part using a trace formula. So, uh, but in all the known applications, uh, we have to stabilize the trace formula. This is the case in Arthur's work and uh, maybe also in many other works. So the stabilized formula looks like this. So that's IGB 
either the spectral geometric side of the trace formula or some other constituents in the trace formula. And in any case, we want to uh, express it in terms of the stable analogs on the elliptic endoscopic groups G prime. And uh, here are some uh, rather easy coefficients here. And the F prime is the transfer of the test function from G to G prime. This is something local. All right, so now, so far everything is about linear groups. So let's move to the, to the metaplatic case. So here I will proceed uh, slowly because it's something new. So uh, let's let uh, sp two n be the synthetic group of rank n, and let mu n be a group of n schools of one. So the global metaplatic covering is a central extension of sp 2 and a by mu 8. So uh, it's maybe it's not so it will be strange to use mu 8 because usually people take twofold coverings. So, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, there is a canonical splitting of this central extension over rational points. So you can talk about the L2 automorphic spectrum as usual. And there is a whole theory of of automorphic representations in this setting. And uh, the definition of this central extension depends not only on the group sp 2 n but also on the linear algebraic data, say uh, W and uh, the synthetic form, and also an additive character. So, uh, and uh, you can also de decompose the uh, athletic covering into uh, local coverings. So it is just the restricted tensor product, uh, sorry, a restricted product of the local ones that you have to caution out by some uh, something in order to get the uh, extension by mu eight. Uh, so uh, as I said, usually people use extension by mu two, but uh, here the covering I use is the push out by into a mu eight. There are some advantages and which I will discuss later on. Let's call this uh, choice the eightfold way. I found it more convenient in my work. Anyway, it's easy to switch between the twofold and the eightfold coverings because, because it is just the uh, push out. So uh, we are interested in studying the genuine representations. So these are the representations that doesn't factor through some smaller coverings. So that means we study the automorphic forms of representations on which you mu eight uh, tautologically, like this. So uh, these representations are nowadays uh, a lot is known about these representations. This is done by. Uh, we take GAM, Sabine, GAM, Ichino, and maybe some others uh, using SETA correspondence. It's also, uh, it is also a model for Langan's program for some more general covering groups. So this is an uh, ongoing program of uh, Weissman, also uh, GAM, and uh, uh, Van Gao, and, uh, some other people, and some, many other people. <laughs> So, uh, in fact, there are also some other coverings called the uh, Belansky or the linear coverings, for example, the uh, coverings uh, of GLN studied by Kachdan Peterson. And uh, there, are also some, there are some higher coverings of SP2N. It's, it is, that's, it's, that's also studied recently by Friedberg, Ginsburg, and uh, many others. But uh, there are something special about SPT or that two and so it's not so much a covering. It's very close to a linear group because two elements in the cover in the covering commute if and only if they commute uh, downstairs in the synthetic group. This will simplify a uh, study of trace formula a lot, uh, especially on the geometric side. And uh, uh, I hope the study of SPT or that one will serve as some, some model for some for the other coverings 
although a very little is known about endoscopy for general cover coverings in this setting. So, uh, so the first step is to establish an invariant choice formula for coverings, uh, at least for SPTL.2. So, okay, so there's a hyperlink in my slides. Unfortunately, uh, I can't click it uh, here. So, doesn't matter. So, uh, so the invariant choice formula is the same as Arthur's choice formula. So it also takes the same form, decomposes according to Levy subgroups. Uh, we need some, uh, well, at least uh, I need some technical assumptions in my work. So the first is a Satake as a Morbison at the unramified places. It's easy for Brilansky learning cover coverings in general. And we also need a trace Pelivina theorem for K finite functions uh, over R. So, okay, so this uh, maybe this works for coverings in general, but I can all. But uh, for SPTL.2 and uh, its Levy subgroup, I can prove it by hand. Uh, I don't know much about the other coverings. Maybe I don't know uh, how serious this restriction is, but anyway, it, it works here. So uh, what remains is to stabilize this trace formula for coverings. And to do this, uh, we need the uh, theory of endoscopy in this case. So uh, the theory of, of endoscopy of SPTL.2 is, I guess it was invented by uh, Jeffrey uh, Adams and uh, by uh, Avi Hanach and uh, then in my thesis uh, almost 10 years ago. Let me give a quick review of the definition. So uh, we need a dual group of G tilde. Here G tilde is SP tilde 2N. So it is taken to be SP 2N over C. It's trivial Galois action. So this is just the dual of SO 2N plus 1. So why, why defined in this way? I guess this is supported by some evidence there are some evidence from SETA correspondence, and uh, it also fits into a uh, Weissmann's pro program for coverings. We can also define an elliptic endoscopic data. So it's like the endoscopic data for SO2N plus one, but it's, so they are formed by, they are indexed by pairs of integers with sum to N, but we, we have to distinguish between an N prime and second, but and the uh, n second n prime, so there is no symmetry here. You cannot switch these two components. Why there are no symmetries here? I don't have a good reason for this. But uh, if you want to stabilize the trace formula, you shouldn't put any symmetry here. And the end corresponding endoscopic group is just two copies of SO2 n plus one. Here, the groups are always split. And uh, in this case, we can define a correspondence of stable conjugacy classes, stable semi-simple conjugacy classes, and also some factors. So uh, the first one, the correspondence of classes is a little bit strange, but it's easy to define. It's essentially some correspondence by eigenvalues uh, up to uh, some twist. The factors are also easier once you know how to define a dual group. The transfer factor is the most complicated thing. It will involve the character of variety of uh, various representation. Uh, fortunately, I won't make use of the bias representation in, in my talk. It's about the technical details. And if you want to use such other transfer formula, you must uh, consider not only G, but also uh, all the Levy subgroups. But uh, if you use the eightfold coverings, then the pullback of G tilde to every Levy subgroup splits canonically into uh, some GL groups, GLNI. Here there are no coverings uh, times some smaller metaplastic coverings. So 
once you use the eightfold covering, uh, there's nothing new uh, for the Levy subgroups. Everything uh, reduces to the theory over GL, which is tautological. I mean, it's endoscopy is tautological. And uh, the case of some smaller SP tilde. So this is why uh, I prefer to use the eightfold covering. One of the reasons, there are some other reasons. All right, so next slide. And uh, we want to study, remember, we want to study a genuine representation. So we need test functions. So the test function for anti for genuine representations are called ge anti genuine. So this means fzx equals z inverse fx for all z in mu8. Mu8 is a subgroup of c. This makes sense. And uh, again, uh, we have the transfer of test functions here. Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, I haven't defined this stuff. When I write something like this minus minus, this means the anti-genuine functions. So there's a transfer of anti-genuine functions uh, to uh, the endoscopic group. So I write uh, G-shrick because uh, G prime is used somewhere else. Well, so this is a dash error because it is not, it is well-defined only if you caution by conjugates somehow. So uh, the description is uh, given below. So it's characterized by matching orbital integrals and there's a transfer factor here. So this plays the role of some integral kernel in this transformation. So here we use the correspondence of classes here and also transfer factors. This is how we define a transfer for metaphatic groups. It's very similar to the linear case. So the existence of transfer is known. It's part of my thesis. It's based on descent to the algebra and I use the results of Angle, Watsfield, uh, and many others on the algebra. And uh, you can take a deal of the transfer. So it maps the stable distribution from G prime, sorry, from G shrink to a distribution, invariant distribution on G tilde. And uh, in fact, you can show that it maps a stable character to a virtual character. Uh, this is something non trivial, but it is proven in uh, one of my earlier papers. And uh, in the unified case, we also have the fundamental lemma for units and uh, also for the whole uh, spherical Hecker algebra. The spherical case is due to Luo Cai Hua. So if you can, if you have a fundamental lemma for spherical like algebra, you have a transfer of Sabake parameters from endoscopic group to G tilde. And finally, uh, we also have a weighted fundamental lemma. So, uh, in fact, uh, if you have a transfer and the fundamental lemma for units, then you can stabilize the elliptic semi-simple terms in the geometric side of G tilde, of the stretch formula for G tilde. So, all these results are, I think they are highly, uh, they are more or less uh, non-trivial, but they only concern the simply, simplest terms in the trace formula, namely the terms n equals G. So how about the other terms? The other terms are much more complicated. But uh, uh, this change. Uh, so the point is to extend these results to more general uh, Levy subgroups n. And uh, what we hope is uh, a theorem like this. So given a global metaphatic covering, we hope to have a in stable trace formula like this. So this is like the linear version. You see, there's a hyperlink here. But sorry, I can't I can click it here. Uh, okay, I, I will put the slide on my web page so you can have a look if you want. So here, uh, IG tilde is a, is, a, is a distribution in the trace formula. And uh, SG shake is the stable distribution, the stable counterpart. 
for G-Shake. So this one is already uh, obtained in Arthur's work. In Arthur's stabilization, you already know you have some stable counterpart for G-Shake. So we want something like this. And uh, in fact, we know a lot about the stable counterpart. For example, we know about its spectral expansion. It is given by so-called stable multiplicity formula for us. Because the G-Shrick here, remember, G-Shrick is the product of a split uh, SO2n plus 1. I mean, a split uh, odd SO. And uh, you know everything about such group. Because uh, us has the endo has done the endoscopic classification. And uh, in fact, uh, we expect to, uh, to be able to uh, take out the discrete part. So we hope something like this. You have a similar uh, expression, but here everything is about the discrete spectrum. This, sorry, I mean a discrete part in the trace formula. Uh, and uh, if we are optimistic, then it should give you something about automorphic genuine spectrum of G tilde and some local information. For example, uh, we expect a uh, local Langlands correspondence for SP tilde 2 n and uh, together with some endoscopic character identities. In fact, uh, this is known. Uh, the local Langlands correspondence is known. Um, it's also about uh, more than 10 years ago by Garmin Savin using SEDA correspondence. In fact, uh, it is compatible with the uh, transfer, which I just defined. This is this is verified by uh, Luo Caihua in his thesis. And uh, globally, uh, Gangmei Chino also obtained a multiplicity formula uh, for a tempered automorphic spectrum of the metaphetic group. So uh, this looks somewhat like Arthur's conjecture, but it involves some uh, synthetic root number, a little bit different a little bit different from others' conviction. And they also obtain the case for SP for tilde. But uh, for some, for the, in a higher rank, uh, as far as I know, um, the, the method is, so far it doesn't extend to higher rank. But uh, if we can establish sub of such a formula, then maybe Maybe it's possible to uh, get some multiplicity formula for L2 spectrum in general. I mean, for uh, L2, a genuine uh, discrete spectrum for G tilde, for every G tilde. So, this is one of the main motivations behind this project. So, uh, so okay, so I said above, so, so far everything is. Uh, Everything known is about n equals g, but we want to start from this and we want to deal with the other cases. Uh, and what we want is a turn by turn stabilization in the trace formula. So for every invariant trace formula in the trace, sorry, I mean, uh, for every invariant distribution in the trace formula, even uh, either the global or local ones, we want to obtain such uh, identity i equals its endoscopic counterpart. And uh, by induction, uh, we can also assume that we have the same identity. If you rep either replace G by a smaller Levy subgroups, or if you replace N by a larger Levy subgroup. So this is reasonable because you know if N equals G, then we, everything is known. If M is very far from G, then we are in trouble somehow. So we, we, we will make such an inductive assumption in this work. In, in this work. And moreover, uh, we want to study, we want to stabilize both the local distributions and uh, also the global coefficients in the trace formula. So I draw a big diagram about this stabilization, but the hyperlink doesn't work. So 
anyway, uh, you, you will see it later on. So the properties of I, uh, so, so the property of the invariant distributions are often approved in the same way as in the linear case. So it's only about harmonic analysis. This is highly non-trivial, but you can just imitate Arthur's work or Langlands work. And it turns out it, everything uh, carries over. And the stable counterpart, it is something about linear groups. So everything is available uh, because of Arthur's works. So what's difficult is about the ellipt elliptic counterpart, this I endoscopy. So it is made from the stable counterparts they are transfer and some combinatorics. So this part requires some uh, combinatorial or some Galois or cohomology arguments. So I don't have time to define endoscopic analogs, but later on you will see an example and you will see how complicated this is. So, okay, so the idea is behind trace formula is uh, we want to know, we want to study the spectral side and uh, this we can do uh, by studying a uh, geometric set. So uh, in an ideal world, uh, the hope is, okay, we can proceed from the stabilization of the geometric terms and uh, it, will take, it will tell us everything about the spectral terms. Uh, so it turns out to be too naive. So we have to uh, go back and forth between the geometric and the spectral side. So um, I said uh, we have to stabilize both the, the local distributions and uh, the global coefficients. So let's, let me uh, consider the global coefficient first in the geometric side. So uh, consider a global metabolic covering like this. So fix a stable semi-simple class O. So, if you take some uh, finite set of places large enough uh, relative to O, then you can define an ellipt so-called elliptic geometric coefficient. So it's a formal linear combination of orbits in uh, the S part of the covering. So it is the building block in the geometric expansion index by O. For example, if O is a regular semi-simple elliptic orbit, then this AG tilde guy is just the orbit multiplied by the Tamagawa number. But if O is uh, if O is non-regular, then it's more complicated. And uh, uh, you can also uh, define an endoscopic analog, although I won't write down the definitions. So the global. Uh, Geometric theory, it is just uh, stabilization of this coefficient. It says that this coefficient equals this endoscopic analog. This endoscopic analog is made from something on the stable side. So this is about the coefficient. That's what we want to prove. And there's also a local statement. It's about the the stabilization of the local distributions. So let's, let's fix the Levy subgroup M and the conjugated class in MF. So F here is the local field. Or even something slightly more general. Um, so we claim that the invariant uh, weighted orbit going grow along gamma tilde equals some endoscopic analog. And uh, here, everything has an unramified analog if, uh, so if everything is unramified. So in unramified case, uh, we also have some, it's, it's just some symbols. So you can define a weighted, uh, unramified weighted orbital integral and in this context. Here, K is the hyperspatial subgroup. And uh, again, it's, this guy has to be uh, stabilized. So the unramified version is called the weighted fundamental lemma. This can be proven directly. 
it's already proven in NCC. So what is the, let me go back. So what is this endoscopic guy? It's something that's slightly difficult. So more precisely, let's fix the elliptic endoscopic data, m shrink of m tilde. So, and uh, given any stable, stable class delta in this n shrink, uh, you can consider uh, uh, stable invariant, stable orbital integrals along uh, these classes uh, evaluated as the transfer of f, and there is some uh, some coefficients that's easy to define. But uh, there's something uh, something new. So here we have to twist the delta somehow by some uh, plus or minus one here. And uh, also here is something called B. That I, I will explain about this in the next slide. So uh, here the new feature is the twist by some central elements. Again, uh, I don't have any uh, theoretic uh, explanation for this twist, it just appears and things won't work if you don't twist it. In fact, uh, every time uh, you form such a diagram and uh, you want to, each time you want to close such a diagram, uh, there will be a twist like this. It's, you can imagine it's some kind of braiding. So if you want to exchange, if you want to go through uh, one side of this diagram to the other side, you have to twist your formula somehow. So um, the B here is, it tells you uh, how to uh, rescale the roots uh, in the connected centralizer of delta in n -shrick and uh, also uh, in a larger group of GS. Here, uh, I haven't defined GS. Uh, GS is, okay, it's, it's some, um, some endoscopic group in this diagram, but you can index it by some some other data called S. So B is just some recipe to uh, rescale the roots. Uh, it's rather technical. So roughly speaking, it's something about, something that goes into the definition of weighted orbital integrals. And uh, I'm not sure if it is only occurs in twisted endoscopy. Maybe not, forget about this sentence. Um, so sorry, maybe this is wrong. Let me close this out. So, uh, so this is probably no. sorry. Okay, but uh, this B stuff is it will disappear if you work in a global setting. So don't worry too much too much about this. And uh, you can show that uh, this guy depends only on the transfer of this distribution delta to m tilde. So it's really something depends on the distribution on m tilde. So this defines the endoscopic distribution I mentioned about. It's already complicated, but if g is m and the gamma is regular, then the equality between this guy and the original guy is just the transfer of orbital integrals. And uh, the other endoscopic analogs of distributions in the trace formula are defined in this way, more or less in, by, by the same recipe. This is due to Arthur. Well, so how to prove this? Um, this is very, the, I mean, the stabilization of the global coefficients is relatively easier. So we first descend to a unipotent case on the centralizer, and we use some properties of the transfer vectors and uh, want to work with some uh, Galois cohomologies. So this part is essentially done in the work in progress of uh, modules and collection. But the stabilization of local distributions are more complicated. So we need a local trace formula, stabilization, 
and the, surprisingly, we also need the spectral side of the chase formula. And we have to stabilize it in spatial cases. And we need a local global argument. This is, this will be done, will be explained in some later slide. All right, so, uh, so let's, let's proceed to the sketch of the proof of this point two. So the first case is to reduce it to uh, the case when gamma is G regular. So, so to make such a reduction, of course, we need some gems. So in a non Archimedean case, uh, you can reduce it to the stabilization of Shalaika gems by descent. So once you descend everything to the algebra, then it suffices to use results from Arthur and also Mugam Archimedea, non standard endoscope. And uh, uh, for F Archimedean, it involves some other gems. That's denoted by rho j and uh, sigma j uh, in the works of Mugranwa's figure. Here j is some subset of roots re restricted to a n. a n is the maximum central space torus in n. So roughly speaking, uh, this, this guy tells you uh, how your distribution change if you uh, perturb, if you modify a uh, gamma to the general position. Once you move gamma in this way, some gems will appear. And you have to st stabilize these gems. So this is some surprising phenomenon. So although we only care about uh, metapathetic groups and the layer, the V subgroup, but uh, we, have, we will encounter some covering like this. So it's, to, uh, it's a contracted product of some uh, smaller metapathetic group. So, fortunately, this is not so different from metaplastic covering. You can deal with these groups by induction hypothesis. So, uh, to prove, uh, we want to so look at this theorem. So, we want to prove that the right hand side of this equation is zero. We cannot do this directly. So the idea of Arthur and the Coselle is in the G regular case, so let gamma be a G regular conjugacy class in N. So the first, so first step is to uh, encode this obstruction into an oligo integral. So I say you know, the difference of this guy, which should be zero, is actually an oligo integral in gamma tilde. It's an orbital integral on n tilde. It's actually a cuspidal orbital integral. This function is a cuspidal function. And uh, to do this, uh, we need some more um, distributions, some uh, completely supported version of weighted orbital integrals. And uh, these distributions and uh, some, uh, some of these uh, transition maps between uh, i n and uh, c i n all these new things uh, have to be stabilized. And we have to assume uh, inductively that uh, we have the layer stabilization for smaller than these subgroups. So this step is called the cancellation of singularities by us. So, okay, so for Archimedean F, so we also have to normalize in the turning operators and we need a canonical normalization. And uh, in this way, we will obtain some, um, some factors from some GM families attached to a unitary uh, reducible representative genuine. And these guys also need to be, also need stabilization. So, um, and uh, in order to carry out this cancellation of singularities, we also, we want to show the 
right hand side is an orbital integral. So we use the characterization of orbital, orbital integrals. So in the Archimedean case, we have to uh, stabilize the differential equations, the jump conditions of weighted orbital integral. There are a lot of things to stabilize in the Archimedean case. But in the Archimedean case, you can do everything uh, explicitly. And this you can do by hand. And uh, in a global case, it's similar. We have unramified normalizing factors for each uh, system of Satake parameters that is quasi automorphic. Quasi automorphic means it is either automorphic or it is a transfer of automorphic Satake parameters from endoscopic groups. And uh, again, we get we form a GN family and uh, we get some new stuff to stabilize. And uh, this we can also do by hand. In fact, uh, these unverified normalizing vectors are given by some, some problem. Okay, so um, oh, there's a diagram. Let's so let's look at this diagram. So see there is a golden distribution here. It is golden because we want to study this guy. And then there are two uh, silver distributions on the right hand side. They are local distributions. Why are they silver? Because uh, you can reduce the step, step, stabilization of everything to this this silver guy. And uh, if this, so this guy can be stabilized. The stabilization of this guy is equivalent to epsilon m tilde, the vanishing of epsilon m tilde by the cancellation of singularities I just mentioned. So here. Uh, each, here I draw an arrow. The arrow means uh, if you want to stabilize this guy, then you have to stabilize this guy first. And uh, some of these diffusions are has a green border. This means you can stabilize it directly. So in the unramified case, we have the unramified something from unramified uh, normalizing vectors. And we also have the unramified weighted, weighted orbital integrals here. So this is uh, stabilized by some combinatorics. This, the st stabilization of this guy is so-called weighted fundamental lemma. And uh, we have the global coefficients here in the geometric side is stabilized by descent from the Dawako homology. And uh, we also have the Archimedean normalizing factors here and also stabilized by hand. And uh, we have some uh, new distributions and map here. It is used in order to define this epsilon and tilde stuff. And uh, we have the weighted characters in the, with the local weighted characters in the trace formula. Uh, it's, although this is a mysterious object, but it's easier to stabilize at least uh, if pi is unitary or has a unitary central character, we can stabilize it directly. So uh, I don't know if if the time is up. If the time is up, please interrupt me. <laughs> okay, so I will continue. So, uh, so idea is, okay, uh, if you can stabilize the G regular uh, geometric, local geometric distribution, you can stabilize every distribution once you stabilize also these uh, gems. Okay, the gem will also be stabilized if you know about this G regular case. And the uh, G regular case also stabilize the weighted characters and so on. So you can stabilize the geometric side and uh, you get the golden distribution you want. And then you can stabilize the whole spectral side. 
logic goes in this way. And uh, you assume that everything has been stabilized uh, for smaller than these subgroups. So uh, everything reduces to these uh, silver distributions here. We have to stabilize this anyway. So how to do this? So we want to show this epsilon is zero. So we consider it's transferred to every possible elliptic endoscopic data n shrink. So we want to show the transfer is zero. So we consider it's orbital integrals. So that's like the orbital integral, stable orbital integral like this. We want to show the stable orbital integral of the transfer of epsilon is zero. Um, okay. So the strategy is rather strange. So the strategy is show this guy is both real and imaginary. Yeah. Any comments? Okay. So, so we need a hypothesis. So we assume it, it's a smooth function epsilon. So, so this means the it, this guy is proportional to the transfer of the parabolic descent of f to m tilde. We claim this guy are proportional up to some smooth function. So this is done using the local global arguments. And we also need the spectral side of the global trace formula in some cases, but it is not the simple trace formula. It's something less simple. So the first step is the imaginary lemma. So we claim the epsilon function is imaginary. So it is based on local trace formula. So we use the pair of test functions F1 bar. Bar means complex conjugate, F2. So F1 and F2 are anti-genuine functions on G tilde. But if you take complex conjugate, then it's uh, uh, sorry, uh, F1 bar is genuine, but it is anti-genuine if you pass to the antipodal coverings. So this mean, antipodal means you change the invading of mu8. So the correct way of looking at the local trace formula is to consider two different coverings. One is G tilde, the other one is, is antipodal. And in our case, you can identify antipodal with the interpolated coverings attached to the minus of the synthetic form. Everything, everything is linear algebra. So it, by changing uh, the synthetic form into its minus one, times minus one, the effect is that this amounts to changing, to conjugating the transfer factor. And uh, every other thing is preserved. So this is how we prove this so-called imaginary lemma. The real lemma says this epsilon function is real. So this is simpler um, if you know the trick. So it amounts to showing that endoscopic transfer is isomorphic to its complex conjugate. So remember the complex conjugate is somehow related to to a uh, antipodal covering. It's something about the minus of the synthetic form. So we want to show that uh, G tilde, there's some uh, link between G tilde and uh, G tilde minus. So this we can do by so-called uh, modern uh, linear house was visual involution. It's written down in their book on theta correspondence. It's realized by a joint G. G has similitude minus one. This leads to the coverings. And uh, in fact, uh, the same technique is used for linear groups. Uh, and also in twisty endoscopy. So in that case, we use the Chevalier involution. Uh, it's, it's in a slightly different way, but maybe, maybe not. So let's cross this out. It is essentially Use essentially the same way.
Okay, so the idea is like this. So we want to show epsilon m tilde is zero. So this we can do by stabilizing a special in a special case by stabilizing the uh, IT script in the global trace formula. And uh, once you uh, get epsilon m tilde is zero, you can also stabilize the local trace formula. And this is part of our uh, inductive assumptions. You can uh, combine this with the earlier diagram. So both, so maybe one final remark. So both the special case, the st stabilization of the special case here and the imaginary lemma involves some uh, trick from uh, Jacques Lanlang. It says uh, if, if you have two distributions, if you have a distribution that has a uh, continuous spectral expansion and also discrete spectral expansion, then the distribution must be zero. Okay, so this is actually a final remark in my talk. So I don't know if it's over time. So I'm sorry if it is over time. It's so this fine. is it's my, fine. it's no, fine. Okay, okay. fine. It's fine. Thank you very much. So, okay, so there's a final slide, sorry. No. So, <laughs> ah, so let me finish my talk with some food from Marseille. That's Thank great. you for your attention. Okay. So, so thank you very much for this great talk. So do you have questions? So I have a, a, a naive question. So, so this is for uh, metaplectic groups. Uh, mm -hmm. do, do there exist some result for other uh, kind of covering groups? In relate. Um, okay. Uh, so I guess the problem is for our, for the other covering is uh, endoscopy is either unnecessary. For example, uh, in the Flickr touchdown coverings of GT of GLN. Yes. I think uh, uh, we don't need we don't need the stabilization. You can just match the invariant trace formula with the trace formula for GLN. Okay. Somehow. Maybe for in some special cases. But for the other coverings, um, I don't know, maybe I don't know about any uh, definition of endoscopy beyond the case of of metaplatic coverings. Uh, so I can write this down somewhere. Um, but uh, the only known case beyond uh, only known case is uh, in some uh, uh, in some uh, preprint of Yaga and uh, uh, Ikeda. I guess Ike Professor Ikeda is in the participants. So they have some uh, preprints uh, for higher coverings for SL2. So they can define a theory of endoscopic, endoscopic groups, the transfer, transfer factors, and so on. Uh, I guess it is possible to stabilize the trace formula in their case, I mean the full stable trace formula. Yeah. But uh, beyond SL, beyond this case, I, I don't know any other theory of endoscopy. So thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. Any question from from the participant? Uh, yes, I, I had I had a question. I, I wrote it down on the chat. Oh, let me take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a question by uh, Edial Kaplan. So I, I will just write the question, or you can see it mm -hmm. on the and, and your result at uh, this will be compared with the result obtained by Ikinogan for the metaplectic group functorial lift using data correspondence. Uh, sorry, so my, my, my connection is slow. Oh, okay, okay, I saw it. Ikinogan uh, functoriality lift. Okay, yes, yes, I mentioned the. 
Yes, I, I guess I mentioned the result in the first few slides. Uh, yes. So, the, well, the easy answer is uh, these are just not comparable. So, my hope is I can generalize the result to uh, arbitrary rank. But this is just a hope, and uh, to realize this hope, uh, oh, I don't know how to realize it so far. But anyway, uh, I I will need a four stable trace formula like this in order to uh, to, uh, to start this project. So in my talk, uh, I didn't. I didn't obtain anything about the L2 discrete spectrum. It's everything is about the trace formula. I, I haven't started to uh, apply the trace formula. 